Hey Shug, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the first half of January reading for Taurus. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? This is a love reading, okay? So um, if you want a general reading, I do have some other general readings that are on the channel. Please check them out. Um, but this one's for love, okay? So just, you know, so that you know. I'm going to do um, the Oracle Message um read that for you and then i'm going to clarify it i did some readings like that over the holiday break and they really did come out um well so just for the first half of january 2021 guys we're here all right well, we're almost here okay <laughs> we're almost there um let's for the first half of january okay so what's coming in for you in love for the first half of january message for you taurus First half of January. Okay. Message for Taurus Spirit for the first half of January. Message for Taurus. Message for Taurus. Okay, let's see. It's here, but where'd it go? Here it is. Okay. Why? Okay. So the card says why. It's number 31. Okay. Bottom of the deck, to be fair, number 38. All right. So let's read it. Okay. Card is why. Number 31. So as far as relationship, it says, we don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way that we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this? And why did I say that? and spend some time in introspection, the answers you may be surprising. The answers may be surprising. <laughs> Listen to the messages from your intuition, from the knowing deep within you. What does it tell you about yourself? Oh, and others. In the end, life is all about being loved, miracles, and a deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are the buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today. Why? Okay, so let's see what's going on with you, Taurus, because that is deep, okay? You might be asking yourself why about some situation, okay? Like, why are we here? Why did I respond to you like that? Why did you say that to me? Right? So let's see. Um, this doesn't, you don't have to be necessarily in a relationship, but um, if you are connected to someone, you know, this can be about them. Okay? So whoever you are thinking about at this time, whoever you have come to this reading for. Okay? For Taurus. All right? Taurus. What's coming for, in for you in love? All right? First half of January. What's coming in for you? For Taurus. Why is this card wide here for Taurus? First half of January. For Taurus. Why is this card wide here? For Taurus in the first half of January. So. Okay. Judgment. Okay. With the four of cups on the bottom. So, basically, someone is not happy with the way things currently are, okay? Queen of Swords. Justice, okay? Um, someone may be, like, feeling, uh, someone may be, like, a little cold, okay? You can be dealing with an air sign or have air in your chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Justice on the bottom, Libra. Okay? 
So someone is like wanting something to be fair or because the world is behind that. Or maybe making a judgment call. Like making this this judgment, okay, is justice for whoever this Queen of Swords is. This Queen of Swords could be someone that's you know, has been cold. What else for Taurus in the first half of January? Like, maybe you just had to be tough on someone because they just weren't, weren't getting it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. She just looked like she's kind of fed up. What else for Taurus in the first half of January in love? Why is this card Y here? And so maybe your communication with someone has been a little um, straightforward, direct, okay? Like no, no tolerance. What else for Taurus in the first half of January? Two of Wands. Ooh, and the Ten of Pentacles came up. Two of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles. Okay? Yeah. Someone wants to meet halfway. Someone's made that decision. They've thought about it a lot. Okay? Anything else for Taurus in the first half of January? Okay. Anything else for Taurus? One, two, three. All right. All right. So I want to see what this judgment is. Okay. So we're going to clarify these to see like what judgment is. Like what the, what are these energies and why are they here? Okay. For Taurus in the first half of January. For Taurus, first half of January. Okay, why is judgment here for Taurus in the first half of January, Spirit? Why is judgment here for Taurus in the first half of January? Judgment for Taurus. Why is this car here? All right. Okay. So you get the Five of Cups. The Ten of Wands, Ten of Inspiration. Okay, let me this out the way. And the Lovers, okay? So someone's making a final decision. Hangman on the bottom. Someone's making a final decision. It's been tough, okay? They've been thinking about their past a lot, okay? Could have been past with you, past with someone else. But they've made a final decision, okay? This Lovers energy, okay? It's a major decision in love. Okay, they're making that final decision. Judgment. Slam the gavel down, right? No longer a hangman about it, okay? Thinking very clearly, okay? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? But so someone's making a final decision on something, okay? The Nine of Voices, which is the Nine of Swords, and the Page of Swords, okay? So whoever this Queen of Swords energy represents, either towards you've been stressing about them or they've been stressing about you. Um, and maybe like trying to understand, trying to know like what's next, like needing more information, like it's been a lot on this person's brain, okay? With tempers on the bottom, I feel like they are in total balance now. It's like some type of way they have a clear understanding of what's what. They are done being, you know, crying over spilled milk. They're done, you know, carrying this burden. They are clear on the decision that they're making with this lover's energy. Clarify the two of wands. Clarify the two of wands for Taurus in the first half of January.
seven of pentacles and the seven of voices. So this is the seven of swords. Whoever this two of wands is, okay, this is someone who was having difficulty not only making a decision, but actually like, like choosing a path. Okay, so two of wands is like, you know, choosing a path, okay, choosing the right path forward, okay. They were taking seven of pentacles, they were taking forever to make this decision, all right? And it's because of a lack of trust. That's what kept them in stagnant, you know, hangman energy, all right? They didn't trust the situation. It was like, maybe, you know, their past with the five, five of cups had them where they were just, you know, look, seven of swords came out again. Just very leery of people, right? So, queen of emotion, seven of swords. This is the queen of cups. Yeah. I feel like apply how it fits, but someone didn't trust the love that was being given. It's like, where is this coming from and why? You know what I'm saying? It's like, where is this coming from and why? So, that's why they were like real slow with coming forward or choosing, making this decision. Clarify this ten of pentacles. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here for Taurus in the first half of January? Yeah. The moon, okay. And you have, the, you have the Knight of Inspiration, which is the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups, right? <laughs> Whoever this person is, yeah, because you have the moon on the bottom, Two of Cups right behind that. They are so afraid. They are so afraid. I don't know if they've been played in the past by someone, um, the Seven of Swords, but they are not trusting of love. <laughs> okay, so just know this person is coming towards you only because they feel very closely tied to you, the lover's energy. Like they feel like, you know, you're different. However, you are so very different that it's scaring them. Okay? They don't want to be bamboozled, right? They're coming towards you in the first half of January. Please, please be kind <laughs> to this person, okay? Well, that's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this helped. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. You may be asking, why? Why is, he, why is this person coming towards me then? All that resistance. They're done with crying over spilled milk. They're done with the burden. They are clear what they want. They're done with the stressing. Just be easy on them. Okay? Understand that this is a major thing for them. I don't know what they've experienced before. That's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I wish you guys already. Bye-bye.